A great morning routine is a superpower. It can help you start the day feeling refreshed, recharged, and just generally ready for the day. But as anyone who's attempted to build a morning routine before can probably attest to, it's really difficult to make one stick. Getting one that works for you requires a lot of experimenting, a lot of perseverance, and a system to support you. In this video, I'm gonna take you through my morning routine step by step, explaining why I've picked each activity, why it's ordered in the specific way it is, and how I use Notion to keep me accountable to my morning routine, so it's something I do absolutely every single day, and not just when I feel like it. Hey you guys, how's it going? For those new to the channel, my name's Tom, and here we talk about how you can use Notion to solve real life problems. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, bang subscribe, and you're gonna be notified when I release new weekly videos. Today we're going to be talking about everything to do with a morning routine in Notion. I'm going to leave the timestamps here so you can jump around a bit if you want, but let's get into it. Okay, so the golden rule of a morning routine is that you need to begin it in the evening. And what I mean by this is not that you need to get a certain amount of hours of sleep, although I'm sure that's going to help, but that you really need to write down what it is you're going to be doing in the morning before you go to bed. Now, you could do this like some sort of 16th century monk on a bit of pen and paper, but what I find a lot easier is to actually use Notion. So let's take a look at my system on how I do that. Now, I don't want to be faffing around every evening putting together the plan for my morning routine so what I do is use a template button on Notion and when I press weekly tasks all that happens is all the tasks that I need to do on a sort of daily basis every week are going to be created here and then I just need to populate them into the week coming forward like this. So that means that every morning I can see next week, okay, I've got my morning routine to do, and then it's just a case of opening it up, and I can already see the template here. I just check it off as I go, and it makes it so easy for me to keep to my morning routine, because every day it's the same, every day I wake up, every day I check it off, and I only have to put the tasks in once a week. It's really a great way of completely eliminating friction, and I'd highly recommend that you make use of the template button feature for when you implement your own morning routine. So now we have a system set up that's going to support us in completing our morning routine but obviously the big question is what am I actually going to do every morning to get the most out of the day? Now for me the best way to think about a morning routine is to think about it in terms of a habit stack and all a habit stack is that the end of one habit initiates the trigger to start a new habit. For example, when you finish your shower, you don't need to remember to switch off the water, grab a towel and step out of the bathroom. It's habitual, it's just a sequence of events. And a good morning routine should be the same. Each habit that you are creating should just logically follow on from the next one. So that when you think about your morning routine, you don't really think it about these different blocks of activities, but you're just viewing it as this one block of time and each step logically follows the one that came before. So my current uh, habit stack for morning routines is first I wake up and make a cup of cacao, then I come downstairs and do some yoga before a bit of Wim Hof breathing, then some meditation and then maybe a cold shower at the end. But how should you put together your habit stack? Well, I think it's just important that you ask yourself the question, what do I want to get out of my morning routine? And for me, there's two things. The first one is that I wanna just start the day feeling incredibly focused. I wanna know that when I finish my morning routine, I'm completely primed to get into that flow state and do some deep work in the morning. The second thing is I want to take care of all of these self-care type activities at the very start of the day. And this means that if I really get caught up in my work and I don't have time to go off and exercise or do anything else, I'm going to have at least had some time for myself in the morning so I have some kind of balance when I look at my activities on a daily basis. So let's take a deeper dive into each of these habits that I've developed and I'm just going to explain to you why I think they're important and why I've chosen them as habits for my morning routine and why I've put them in the order that they're in. The first habit in my habit stack is making a cup of cacao and the reason for this is it was a habit that I already had. When building a habit stack it's important that you only add new habits on top of existing ones or you really risk overstretching yourself. For most people I really would recommend having your first habit in the morning is something that you're already doing whether that's making a hot drink, having a shower, getting a glass of water because this is then just going to kick off the rest of the habits and it just makes the whole process of creating a morning routine much less daunting if the first thing is something you're already doing anyway. 
When it comes to my other habits, I actually work backwards from the meditation. And the reason is when I have a really sort of deep focused meditative session, I'm absolutely primed for the rest of the day to do my best possible work. The difficulty is I only access this like really deep meditative state about 20% of the time. So I've taken a couple of steps in my morning routine to try and make sure that I get into that state a little bit more regularly. So the first thing I do to increase these odds is kick off with some yoga. Not only does this make me feel subtle and healthy throughout the day, the burst of activity also really just wakes me up from my slumber, which is going to increase my chances of having a great meditation session. Generally for yoga, I'm just going to follow a yoga with Adrian class or just freestyle some of my own shit. After yoga, I'm going to flow into some Wim Hof breathing. This just naturally stacks really nicely on top of the yoga because I'm already in an energetic state. I've got some blood running through my veins and I'm ready to start some good old hyperventilating. Generally, I just use the same YouTube video. It's a quick 11 minute one and it's breathing deep for 30 breaths and then holding your breath between 90 seconds, then two minutes and then two and a half minutes over the three rounds. If you haven't tried Wim Hof breathing before, I'd really recommend that you check it out. Unlike yoga and meditation and some of the habits that take months and months for you to really start seeing the effects, Wim Hof breathing is something that you can notice the effect straight away. And as soon as I've done this exercise, I'm now feeling really primed for my meditation. I try not to set a timer for my meditation. I just go for what feels right. And this could be as little as 10 minutes or up to 30. At the moment, I'm really enjoying Sam Harris's waking up app, but I've tried a load of techniques over the six or years or so that I've been meditating. And with meditation, I really just think it's a case of finding what works for you. After my meditation, I'm hopefully now feeling really charged and just really ready to dive into some deep work. But before that, I need to get ready. And the first activity for me of getting ready starts with taking a shower. On my morning routine, you'll see that I've actually put this down as a cold shower, but I absolutely hate cold showers. I really cannot bear them. So what I usually do is have a warm shower if I've completed all of the other items in my list. And I think this just acts as a nice reward at the end of the morning routine to say, right, okay, you've done all right, you've done all these other tasks, now reward yourself with a hot shower. And obviously if I haven't done them, then I have to punish myself with a cold shower, which is really just not a very enjoyable experience. After the shower, it's just the boring stuff really, shaving, hair, getting changed, all this stuff that even though it's boring has become so important to maintain while I work from home because otherwise I just find it really difficult to motivate myself to feel like I'm in some kind of normal routine if I'm just lounging around in my pajamas all day. Now the trick to making a morning routine stick is to not overwhelm yourself and just add a few activities over time. So when I started out with this, I was just doing, I think, the cacao and the breathing. Then I added in the meditation and then finally I added in the yoga. And I would really advise for you to build it up yourself slowly this way as well. One other trick that we can use is to employ Notion as a tool to see our morning routines as a chain of events that we really don't want to break. So let's have a look. So this is my master task database where I log all of my morning routine tasks. And what I can actually do is just change the view here to morning routine and what it's going to do is filter it so that only the tasks where morning routine is the title are going to be showing and also where the status is done and this just gives a really nice visual representation of how my mornings have been going over the last few days and obviously the more that I see that I'm checking off these boxes the less likely it is that I'm going to break this chain and the more likely it is that I'm going to keep up this habit. So there you have it, that's my complete morning routine and how I use Notion to support it. I hope that that's given you some inspiration because yeah, I really can't understate the importance of having a great morning routine and just how incredible it is to start the day every day feeling completely right. If you like that video, I'm gonna leave another one here for you to check out, but thanks a lot and enjoy the rest of your day.